All right, here are solutions to problem 26 off the GRE subject math practice exam. You're given this system of equations, mod 11, I guess is how I could describe this. 3x is equivalent to 5 mod 11, and 2y is equivalent to 7 mod 11. You probably already know what that means, but in case you don't, what that's saying is 3x equals 5 plus some number of 11s. I don't know how many more 11s, but some number and some uh, integer number of 11s. And similarly, 2y is equal to seven plus some other number n prime fine of 11s. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to figure out what x plus y is congruent to mod 11. And there's probably other ways you can get there, but the way I thought to do it is, it's a bummer that I have three x and two y. I wish I had the same number of each. Well, actually, okay, so lots of different ways you can do this. One way you can do this is first figure out that 6x would be equivalent to 10 mod 11. Sorry, there should be an x in there. And that 6y should be equivalent to 7 times 3 is 21, but 21 is equivalent to 10 mod 11. And now I have the same coefficient, 6 namely, on x and y. First of all, why could I do that? I can do that because I, if you think about it down here, if you double both sides of this equation, you get 6x equals 5. Nope, 6x equals 10 plus 22n or 11 times 2n. But 2n is just some integer. You think about it as m or something. So if 3x is equivalent to 5 mod 11, then 6x is equivalent to 10 mod 11. Anyways, that gets me here. 6x is equivalent to 10. 6y is equivalent to 10. Therefore, 6x plus 6y is equivalent to 10 plus 10. In other words, 20 mod 11, but 20 mod 11 is the number nine. So that gets me here. And so you're like, oh cool, almost done. Just divide by six, your answer is nine six. Well, not quite. You can't divide by six if you think about what we're doing with, the, if, if you divide everything by six, this number not, might not be divisible by six, or this number might not be divisible by six. So that no longer gives me congruence mod 11 because I no longer have an integer number of 11s here. So you can't divide by six. So what the hell are you gonna do? Well, I can multiply both sides of the equation by 12 or by 2. Why would you multiply both sides of the equation by 2? Well, note that 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 mod 11 is just 1. So x plus y would be equivalent to 18, aka 7 mod 11. So the answer to this question ends up being 7. Uh, another way you could get there is instead of getting these both to have the same coefficient, Maybe I'll say, or uh, I could just get x to have a coefficient of 1. And the way I could get there, let's see, I want to end up with a number that's 1 larger than 11. So maybe 12 if I multiply by 4. So if I multiply by 4, I have 12x, aka 1x, is equivalent to 20, aka 9. And now I want this thing to be 1 more than 11, aka 12. So I'll multiply both sides by 6. Uh, 6 times 2 gives me 12y, aka y. And 6 times 7 gives me 42, which mod 11 is negative 2, or 9, however you want to write that. Uh, and now if I add up x plus y, I get that that's equivalent to 7, because 9 plus negative 2, or uh, 9 plus 9, which would be 18, uh, is equivalent to 7 mod 11. So either way, you get the same answer. Um, I thought to do it this way first, but in hindsight, it might have been easier to do this problem this way over here.